chairs, 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 trucks, trucks, chairs, chairs, trucks, trucks. <laughs> What's that over there? Uh, trucks. How about that gorilla? I don't always see it. <laughs> I'm on my way as usual, on my way to my Lakota class, and I made the big mistake of telling my mother the news of a uh, mission yesterday. Apparently, from what I've heard, I didn't, I didn't go out and see it, or I probably could have, but um, chose not to. It's kind of a scary situation, but there was actually a guy that was uh, found on the side of the road on the highway in between uh, Mission and Valentine. He was kind of uh, just outside of Mission. He was beaten to death, so now there's a federal investigation going on in Mission, South Dakota. Why something like that turned out federal, I am assuming because there's uh, so much confusion and, and animosity and, um, anyway, problems with jurisdiction uh, between the, the state and the tribe that um, the, the uh, reservations and the tribes, they're, they're considered their own nation, so a lot of a lot of them, a lot of those reservations have their own laws, and um, they can't they can't go along with the with the state laws. The state doesn't have a lot of a lot of jurisdiction over them. Um, so anyway, the uh, the federal government has to get involved a lot of times, especially when there's a serious crime like that. This is all stuff that I just learned yesterday, actually. So it was kind of weird that that happened the, the same day that we were going through this. But um, this year I'm taking a, a tribal law class. I looked into acupuncture today, and apparently they do it at the school every Thursday. So I'm going to go and check that out um, this next week. Hopefully I can get a video of, uh, of my experience in acupuncture. I was talking to one of my instructors about it today. Is, is how I got the information about it. But he said he, he actually went in there and... Uh, they, they put a bunch of needles around around his ears, and um, he said that he, he walked out of there with, uh, just as soon as he walked out of there, he lit up a cigarette, so he never went back. Yesterday, I made a deal with a friend that um, that I was going to quit cold turkey. If he dropped his cigarette, I was going to drop mine. But, uh, of course, neither one of us ended up holding up to our end of the deal. Um, I'm doing a lot better today. only had a couple of cigarettes, but I am wanting one bad. I'm craving one bad, so probably as soon as I get home, I'm going to end up lighting one up. But, um, I was actually thinking of the word cold, or the phrase cold turkey. Where does that come from? You know, there's, there's so many, uh, phrases and, uh, figure, figure, figurative speech and, um, cliches that, that we use all the time, like, you know, going postal. Obviously that one came from, uh, a guy that actually went crazy working in a post office and ended up shooting the place up. There's a phrase that me and my cousin use um, for the term hungover. So if you're hungover, you're paying overdue, overdue postage. I'm not exactly sure where that originated from. I can't remember. I'm going to have to ask her. I'm actually heading to her house here shortly, so maybe I'll have her explain to you where it came from because I, I can't remember. That was so long ago. We've been using that term for years. We still laugh like we, like we know what we're talking about. But cold turkey... I don't know where that originated from, so when I get home, I'm going to look it up on the internet. I really think way too much into things on my way home. It's such a long drive, and there's really nothing to do. So I guess I just think... The story? <laughs> Come on, tell us the story. I don't know the story. I can't remember how it got to overdue postage. Hmm. <laughs> Dollar store. <laughs> it wasn't you, huh?